What's up guys and welcome to the Cayman Islands. That's right baby, we've got a new vlog series for you all. Chelsea and I went down here for a week, we had a fantastic time and we can't wait to share the videos with you guys. However, we do have to start things off with a little bit of bad news. So some of you guys may remember from the vlogs, back in 2017 we were originally invited down by our now good friends Lance and Daniel for Gamers Bay 2. They were starting up this video game tournament, it's the first of its kind on the island and honestly pretty much the first of its kind down there in the Caribbean and uh, it was a massive success. We had a great time, met a lot of fans down there, made some new friends and uh, we were actually invited back for Gamers Bay 3 which was the primary reason for this trip. Now. On top of that, on top of going for the gaming tournament, there was actually a little bit more important of a reason for us to be there. So they scheduled opportunities for us to go around to some of the schools and talk to the kids about careers, both in video games as well as just kind of like online and media and stuff like that. Now obviously a lot of the kids wanted to hear about what it was like to be a YouTuber, but we also talked about other career opportunities, you know, like graphic design, game design, video editing, photography, that kind of thing that they may not know as much about. They may not know those opportunities are available. And we even had some university reps from some of the universities down in Miami that were talking about opportunities for scholarships and internships internships and ways that they can easily kind of transfer from high school down there into an American university and just kind of open up a lot of doors for these kids because they're all very, very intelligent. It's just not necessarily the same. There isn't the same like easy path like we have here in America or over in Europe and that sort of thing. So it was really cool. It was really rewarding. We actually went to Cayman Brock the first day we were there, which is the easternmost of the three islands that make up the Caymans. And, uh, this is a tiny island. There are like a couple thousand people that live there. There are only like one or two schools there. And it, it was amazing. It was such a beautiful place. Unfortunately, I lost all the footage. So later on, I accidentally ended up wiping my hard drive. I literally lost everything except for a couple of phone clips and some of the drone clips you guys are seeing on screen right here. And so honestly, I'm still a little bit heartbroken about it. Like, it, it was a fantastic time. So many great, beautiful people on that island. And uh, I'm hoping to come back one day so I can show you guys exactly what I'm talking about. But uh, technically, this series is going to be starting off on day two of the trip. So uh, I hope you guys enjoy. Let's get going. Girl, what is up with those shoes? Are they cute? Oh, my goodness. What is going on? That's adding like three inches. I know. So fun fact, I obviously like short girls. Otherwise, there's no way I could like her because she's super short. I'm like 6'5", she's like 5'2". <laughs> On our first date, she knew that I was tall, so she wore some extra long heels and like tried to pretend like she was like, you know, 5'6", or something, but oh it, uh, it didn't work out. I knew, I saw right through it. But uh, anyway, guys, what's up? And welcome back to day three here in Grand Cayman. Today, we are waking up at uh, around 7 a.m. Look at this beautiful view right here. Oh my goodness, I just, I wanna spend all day in that pool, but uh, we've got some exciting stuff to do today. So we're gonna be going to a high school here in a few minutes and doing another little like talk panel type thing like we did yesterday. Then after that, we are gonna go to the Cayman Turtle Center, which we've been to before, but she's very excited about. It's like one of her favorite places on earth. Yeah. So that's gonna be really fun. Swim with some turtles, that sort of thing. Then we're gonna go to the Dolphin, uh, is it Cove, Dolphin Discovery? I think it's Cove. Dolphin Cove, I think it's, I, I'll look it up, I'll put it on screen. We're going there, they like rehabilitate dolphins and, and train them and teach them and that sort of thing. We're gonna be able to swim with dolphins there, which is gonna be crazy. I don't, have you ever done that? No. I've, I've like pet a dolphin at Atlantis, but I've never actually swam with one, so that's gonna be kinda cool. And then we have a radio interview tonight. And then after that, that's pretty much it. We're kind of free to do whatever we want. So I don't know, we'll see what happens. Here we go. So we went to breakfast in Georgetown after speaking at that high school, it was delicious. We had some crepes at a little creperie. It was so good. And now we went to hell. We came here last year, <laughs> we had to come back. Got to pay for our sins here. But uh, yeah, this is um, just a weird little natural phenomenon. I yeah. don't know exactly what the name of the rock is. It's like some sort of a limestone or something. I know iron shore iron shore yeah. and it's just a it kind of like it, it just it happened to be here and, and obviously you can't really build on top of this you'd have to like either tear it all out or fill it in and that'd be really expensive yeah. so here we are in the middle of a beautiful island prime real estate and we've got a bunch of crazy lava rock yeah. and a devil so they turn it into a it's tourist crazy. attraction and we've been all over the island and this is the only spot you find it right it's not like everywhere it's kind of weird 
So yeah, we're checking this out and then we're going to the Turtle Center. After returning from hell, we got to visit the sea turtles again. You guys may remember this from our last trip here, but this time we had something special planned. What you think, girl? Hello, friend. I'm back with the turtles. So we did this last year, but it was rainy and overcast. Yeah, you can see them so much better with the sun. Oh, this is going to be awesome. And last year we didn't do the swimming portion, which we're going to do this year. We're back with our boy Kevin. If you guys remember him from last year, he's the two man. Years ago. We love you, bud. Oh, two years ago. That's what it was. Yeah. No, it was one. It was one. It was just one. Look at these guys. <laughs> he's enjoying the turtle form, too. The turtle center. <laughs> Looks like we've got some other visitors to the Turtle Center. He enjoys watching the turtles as well. <laughs> oh my goodness. So uh, Sparky is still here, if you guys remember her. She's 81 years old and 600 pounds. She's laid over 25,000 eggs here in her lifetime, but uh, she's, still, she's still kicking. She can live up to 150. Looks like he's done now. Okay, so Chelsea found the smallest turtle guys, of them all. I am dying. He is absolutely Come outrageously here, outrageously cute. Look, Look at, him. at this little friend. Look how tiny he's he is. so cute. <laughs> hey guys, Hi, what's buddy. up? Yeah, these guys, these must only be a couple months old. So they kind of like slowly grow up. They start in these like touch tanks and then they go over to the other tanks when they're like five to ten years old and then they go to the big one once they get up to I think he said the youngest one in that big tank is 25 years old which yeah. is crazy and they live up to 150 <laughs> he's got his like hands on his hips he's twerking okay, now Trevor's gonna catch one pick a good one. Oh my god they're so cute hi little guy <laughs> we'll let you go back summon Okay, so these turtles are adorable and we're going to be able to take a swim with them here in a minute, but uh, first, let's check out the aviary, because Chelsea's is afraid of birds. Is he going to climb up my arm or just stay on my hand? This is a growing experience, Chelsea. Good job. It's okay. Now look at the eyes. See that eye shadow? Takes yeah, us about, okay. takes us about an hour to put that on every morning. <laughs> right. we, have a, we have a guy. We I have feel a guy like in the you dealt room. with my, my bird issue last year. Maybe. I think you were here. Okay. I was afraid How to see one the pink one. Oh. Oh. Isn't that cool? Take a picture of the eye shadow. The eye line. Oh. Oh. Okay, that's fine. Uh, food, no love. That's a nice place for you down there. <laughs> and oh. say the word. Oos. <laughs> Good <laughs> job, Chels. Okay, here you go. All right, so here you go. <laughs> breathe, 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 breathe. <laughs> Look, at Look at that. Isn't that nice? You're bonding with it. You and nature are one. She kept going back at her. It's like the fourth time. Now you're a Disney princess. <laughs> <laughs> you're She's one a with Disney nature. Princess now. Right. Come on, buddy. He's coming. Oh. If you don't mind taking a step back, What's up, buddy? He's very pretty. Yeah, he is really pretty. He. Is that your new friend, Trev? I don't have any more food. Sorry, bud. Anybody else gonna do this while it's Now it's time to do a little snorkeling. <laughs> this is pretty cool. So they have this whole, this is like a saltwater pool. They've got all kinds of fish and turtles and all kinds of other wildlife around here. It was 
was really cool. We've done a lot of snorkeling, but that was like curated snorkeling where you're guaranteed to see a bunch of cool stuff. It was pretty awesome. You said what now? I need another six inches. It's a little tall for me. I'm on my tippy tippy toe. <laughs> oh, that's not how I took it. Ew. This place just keeps getting better and better, girl. We started with turtles, and then we did some snorkeling, and now we have a beautiful pool with a water slide, with a waterfall, and there's like a super blue part over here that apparently has a big drop off, sudden drop to eight feet. I don't know. This looks pretty cool though. Look at how romantic this is. private waterfall. I feel like a mermaid. Uh-oh. This is a little bit nicer, I guess. This is like Caribbean turquoise blue in a pool. Like, I don't understand how they've done this. We're surrounded by palm trees. Doesn't get any better than this. There's an iguana out there. <laughs> That's his land. He's just hanging out. That's awesome. After all the fun at the Turtle Center was over, we had two radio interviews to round out this day. So we did the turtles. Killed it, absolutely loved it. Got a ton of sun, I might be a little bit burnt. But now we are at Radio K-Man, which is one of the oldest radio stations on the island. And we're doing a little radio. <laughs> here at uh, 92.7 and these boys are amazing. So I met Jeru last year at Gamers Bay. He's the man, he is in the, he's in the vlog. Hey, listen man, let me have my moment, okay? Right, go ahead, so go if ahead. you don't know me yet, my name is Jeru. I am a music artist, you can find me on IG. I am Jeru, that's J-E-I-R-U. Oh, he's got a plug. I got a plug, <laughs> got, a, got a plug. Got a plug it, man. Got a lot of music coming, man. Yeah. If you like Drake, follow me. Oh. Okay. That's that's a bold statement. <laughs> what you're not gonna do is listen to that. Whoa, hey, go ahead and snip that. <laughs> but um hey guys, I'm Malik. Um welcome to the Cayman Islands. We need a we need to help you practicing Cayman Brock. Cayman. No, Cayman Brock. Cayman. Cayman Brock. Yeah, Cayman Brock. It's like, it's like you came in Brock. I came to the Brock and I'm in Cayman. You can pass, you can pass. Okay, I gotta pass, all right. Get out the shop. It's your boy, I'm Deontay. Follow me on Instagram, I am Deontay. I'm a content creator, and T Martin is awesome. Make sure to subscribe to him. Thanks, bro. These guys are doing their thing. We're just on their uh, their radio show, they do it every Wednesday. I don't think you guys can watch it, because it's only in K-Man. K-Man, right, but. Yeah, but on Facebook. She's doing a good job, bro. All right, guys, so. I think that's going to wrap up a pretty fantastic day. My goodness. It was a lot of fun. I'm tired, though. It's currently, it's almost 10 p.m., which is kind of early. Normally, we would stay out later than this, but we have an early morning tomorrow, and I have a Fortnite update dropping at 3 a.m. came in time, so I, I'm going to try to get up and make some videos. Obviously, it's not going to be the same as if I was home. But I'm going to try to see what I can do. I brought like my PlayStation and stuff like that. So we'll see how it works out. But um, tomorrow we've got uh, radio in the morning. We've got another high school that we're going to be going to. And then we're going to be doing an East End tour. So the island is kind of like a U-shape in a sense. Yeah. And most of the stuff is over on the little western sliver. But we're going to be going over to the east side where we haven't really spent a lot of time yet. So it's going to be kind of cool. It'll be something new and something unique. So... Hopefully you guys are excited for it. We're going to see you guys there. Drop a like if you guys enjoyed. Subscribe if you haven't already. Peace out.